Put on to your hats, fellow Commodore computer fans. An amazing announcement from Retro Games Limited and Co Media. The Amiga 500 mini version. Yes, that's right. The A500 mini is coming in 2022. Let's check out the official trailer and then we'll break down what we see from that trailer but also add some extra information that's been given to us through a press release and we'll finish it off with a little bow on top and hopefully get a good idea of what to expect next year. Peggy 12 Hey everybody, my name is Justin and I'm in my Commodore computer man cave that I've been building over the last few months and uh, one thing I've forgotten to do is the middle of winter right now and it's almost midnight and it is freezing in here, absolutely freezing. Um, no, no steam coming off my mouth yet but it is fully insulated, my Commodore computer room but I've forgotten one thing and that is heating so I must look at that at some stage because uh, obviously I do get cool nights here in New Zealand. And just to give an idea of how cold it's been, this is Felicia and my daytime adventure. But what we're here for, the amazing announcement today from Retro Games Limited and also Co Media, that is the release of the A500 Mini. The Amiga 500 was huge. That huge. It was released in 1987 by Commodore Computers. Now this was a 16-bit success in the gaming world. The great thing about the Amiga 500 is that it offered expandability through extra RAM and other peripherals that you could add onto it. But straight out of the box, the Amiga 500 still offered some of the best games, the best sound and the best video that you could get from a computer back in 1987. So Retro Games Limited and Co Media have announced today that they're going to be releasing the A500 Mini. So what does that mean? Well, if you already own the C64 Mini, you appreciate it's a, it's a small version of the Commodore 64. But later, of course, Retro Games Limited and Comedia released the C64, the full-size keyboard working version of the Commodore 64. Absolutely fantastic machine. Love this machine. And more recently, they also released the Vic 20. I don't actually have one of those, but I do have something similar. Just to give you an idea, it looks like this, different label, but the exact same experience. Now they're releasing the A500 Mini. So what can we gather from the press release and also the official trailer that we've just watched before? Gathering by the press release, the A500 Mini, just like the original C64 Mini, will not have a working keyboard. But that's okay because you can activate, like this, an on-screen keyboard to use. Or you can just plug in an external PC standard keyboard to add extra functionality. So here's what you get with your the A500 Mini. You get the home computer of course. You get the two button tank mouse. Just trying to work out. Uh, well, I do have a mouse here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Yeah, the original tank mouse. You get the gamepad or controller. It'll also be interesting to see if my wireless F710 controller that I use for my C64. It'll be interesting to see if it also works with the A500 Mini as well. 
can't wait to find out. In the box you also get an HDMI cable that, so you can plug it into modern TVs. You get the USB Type-C power cable. You may need to get your own adapter to plug into the wall for power. And also you get your quick guide as well. The A500 Mini comes with 25 inbuilt games on the carousel. The carousel operates by looks of it the same as the C64 Mini, the C64 and the VIC-20 carousels. So what are the games? Well here they are. 12 so far have been announced and there's 25 in total so more will be announced soon. I remember playing Battle Chess on the Amiga 500. What a classic game. The animations were so fantastic on that game. The beauty of the A500 Mini is that it features perfect emulation not only of the original Amiga 500 OCS and the enhanced chipset ECS of future revisions but also the advanced graphics architecture AGA of the A1200. So this is really like getting an Amiga 500, Amiga 600 and Amiga 1200 all in one. And like the other Retro Games Limited releases, you can also save your progress at any time during the game. You can add your own programs or own games with the WHD load via your own USB stick. Of course you have the HDMI video output. You also have multiple scaling options and a CRT filter. So you can really emulate that old 1980s, 1990s CRT feel. And finally you have the on-screen virtual keyboard. The next question is how big or really how small will the A500 Mini be? Here's a photo of the prototype. The pen, the coin and the USB tank mouse give you an idea of the size and scale of the A500 Mini. So if the average pen is about 15 centimeters long it means that maybe about 20 to 25 centimeters wide that surely is a mini Mega 500. I can't wait to get one of these and put it next to one of my Mega 500s just to get a real size comparison. This is exciting news from Retro Games and hopefully uh, this will be coming out early in 2022 but uh, either way we look forward to it very much and we really appreciate the hard work that the guys at Retro Games Limited and also Co Media are doing to create these amazing uh, renditions of Commodore computers. Uh, we look forward to the release and, uh, and we'll keep you up to date on this channel so please make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you get regular updates on when this is coming out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.